in a spectacular turn of events. You know, how myself and many other content creators out there in the world have for years been telling you, and you know, you know, you watch my videos, you're here right now, and I appreciate you, that big corporations, Google, Facebook, all this stuff, right? All the companies are constantly talking about more diversity. They don't care. They don't care. Marvel hires a black director and puts them out there front and center, then fires them the next week, right? That's what, that's what, that's what they're Disney, Marvel, Google, Facebook. They don't actually care about diversity. They throw a little money at it here and there. They put a, build a little subsection on their website. But at the end of the day, these companies are still all about making money. Just ask Disney, who just canceled Captain Marvel 3 with their, with their stunning and brave all-female cast and their, and their Muslim actress and their, and their black director who didn't earn it, who had one film in her history of directing and it was trash. Um, that's how they use diversity. In the same way you go in June every month where every corporation pretends that they care so deeply about the LGBTQ community and if you'd only buy their products, you would see how much they cared about you. And then July comes around and they get it's the Toy Story meme where, you know, Woody gets thrown in the trash. Well, Google used a black deaf worker to tout its diversity and now she's suing for defamation. I'm sorry, discrimination. But I'll say this. Also, when you hire these like diversity obsessed weirdos, these are the people that are suing you. These are the people that these are the people that are obsessed with race. They're looking through the lens of everything that happens to them is because of their race. Everything good that happens to them is because they overcame it. Everything bad that happens to them is because of their race. They're walking victimhood complexes in most cases. And now Google got bit in the rear end. Jalen Hall. And by the way, I support this lawsuit. 100%. Jalen Hall was featured on Google's corporate social media account for, a quote, making a life at Google more inclusive. She said the company discriminated against her on the basis of her disability and race. Being deaf, by the way, I mean, is, is, is uh, on the grand scale of things, when you start thinking about, you know, in terms of the senses that you'd be willing to lose, you know, hearing is definitely up there. Uh, it makes just about every aspect of life more difficult. Um, but fortunately, there's sign language and things. It's also one of the things that are more easily accommodated, I guess, is where I'm going. You know, you make sure that someone on staff can speak sign language. I'm sure there are. Or you get, offer free classes. It's good to know anyway. Anyway, Jalen Hall thought she was being scammed when a recruiter reached out on LinkedIn for a job moderating YouTube videos in 2020. Oh, how will you do that if you can't hear? You're going to rely on YouTube's uh, uh, totally accurate closed captioning? Months after earning a master's degree in criminal justice. What? You got a criminal justice. You have a master's degree in criminal justice. And a recruiter reaches out and says, hey, do you want to moderate YouTube videos? They totally saw she was black and deaf and were like, yo, double checkbox. But the offer was, in fact, real. And Hall, who is black and deaf, sailed through the interviews. She would be part of a new in-house moderation team of about 100 people called Wolverine, trudging daily through freezing weather to offices in suburban Detroit during the early lockdowns when she accepted the job, the recruiter said via email that a sign language interpreter would be provided. There you go. I knew it. It could be fully accommodated. The assurance unraveled within days of joining Google and her experience at the company had proven difficult in the years since. Hall now works on responsible use of AI at Google and by all available accounts is the company's first and only black and deaf employee. The company has feted at her the company has feted her at events and online as a representative of workplace welcoming to all. Google's LinkedIn account praised her last year for helping expand opportunities for black deaf professionals. While on Instagram, the company thanked her for making hashtag life at Google more inclusive. 
Yet behind the rosy marketing, Hall accuses Google of subjecting her to both racism and autism. Oh, I assume discriminating based on uh, people who can't hear. She says the company denied her access to a sign language interpreter and slow walked upgrades to essential tools. Maybe you shouldn't have hired a criminal justice person who has a specialty in discrimination to be a token for your company because that's what they hired this woman for. Now, I have no disrespect, no hate for her. She did not choose to be born deaf. It is not something people choose, and it is probably an extremely difficult road. Nowadays, with smartphones and things of that nature, things have gotten easier, but that's only relatively recently. After filing three HR complaints that said she yielded little change, Hall then sued Google in December, alleging discrimination based on her race and disability. The company responded this week, arguing that the case should be thrown out on procedural grounds, including bringing the claims too late, but didn't deny the accusations. Google is using me to make them look inclusive for the deaf community and the overall disability community. She says, in reality, they need to do better. I actually believe her 100%. Why? Because this is what every major company does. They trot them out there. They're like, look at all our disabled. Look at our, our many, every color in the crayon box that works for us. And then they're like, get back to work, wage slave. Paul, who's in her 30s, has stayed at Google in hopes of spurring improvements for others. This is also weird to me. You know what normal people do when your job sucks? You quit and get another one. You don't say there and then sue them and then expect things to just be awesome for you for the rest of your life. That's not normal. Um, but anyway, I digress. She chose to talk with Wired despite fearing for her safety. Oh, come on. Um, and job prospects. Well, that job prospects is going to, that happens when you sue your boss. When you sue the company you work for, you become toxic to hire. That's just the reality. I'm not saying it's fair. I'm not saying that she doesn't have a right to be upset, but I'm saying that is the reality. I was born to push through hard times. She said it would be selfish to quit Google, huh? I'm standing in the gap for those often pushed aside. Hall's experiences, which have not been previously reported, are corroborated by over two dozen internal documents seen by Wired as well as interviews with four colleagues she confided in and worked alongside. Employees who are black or disabled are a tiny minority at Google. They're a tiny minority on the planet. Wired is a stupid leftoid fake um, outlet, so just understand that. It's like, oh my God, these people only represent 0.001% of the world's population. But what they need to represent 40% of, of employees at Google because reasons. Google's deaf and hard of hearing employee group has 40 members and black women make up about 2.4% of it. Oh my God. Okay, so how can you make 2.4% out of 40? What? You have one? You have one, right? They're just making up stats. One out of 40 is 2.4%. So why do you just say she's the only one? Right? Am I, am, I, am I taking crazy pills or is it two? Man, math. I'm telling you. Yeah. It's one. Just say you're the only one, you dorks. Several former black women employees, including AI researcher Timonent Gebru and recruiter April Christiana Curley, have publicly alleged that they were sidelined by internal culture that disrespected them. Curly is leading a proposed class action lawsuit accusing Google of systemic bias, but has lost initial court battles. You're going to lose all these. You can't beat Google. It's extremely rare. It took a company that was even bigger, in, or just as big, sorry, Epic Games, to even bother to, to work with them in court. Now, I think the whole thing is, of course, um, just proves, it just proves beyond like a shadow of a doubt just how shallow diversity, equity, and inclusion is at the corporate level. They don't actually care. By the way, Google also shut down its later, att latest attempt at a social media app. They continue to fail at that. You know, they had Keen, they were trying to do all these different, they desperately want to have their own Twitter alternative. 
Google stock is down today, but over the last five days, it's way up. But over the last month, it's down mostly because it's down mostly because their AI technology has been uh, has been disastrous. But again, just a subtle reminder to all of my wonderful, wonderful viewers. This is a perfect example. Anytime somebody wants to tell you, pretend, tell you that these companies actually do care about diversity, equity, and inclusion, and they do care about their employees, they don't. They want to take their pictures of black people and put them on their website and pretend like they give a damn. Quite frankly, it's racist, right? And the sooner that the left stops perpetrating this or propping it up or calling it stunning and brave or DEI, people stop investing because of this crap, the less discrimination these people are actually going to face. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you leave a like on it. If you haven't yet, please do subscribe or follow down below, and we'll talk to you again real soon.